Now in this session, we will look at the process of setting up three different text styles. A 2.5mm high note, a 3.5mm bow, and a 5mm high title. Setting up text style in Revit is quite simple because Revit has the built-in annotative scaling feature. You only need one style for all the available drawing scale in a project file. Now first I'm going to go back to the annotation tab and then place a text with the two segment leader line. I'm going to choose the 2.5mm area. I'm assuming a little bit more. And then type in this is a note. And dash 2.5 millimeter, lowercase millimeter, AR, AR, I, AL, I, AL, area. So now I'm going to click on the edit type and I'm going to rename this. This is going to be note space dash 2.5 millimeter area. So like OK. Now I want the text size to be 2.5 and the font style we're going to use leave it as Arial. The tab is going to be 12.7. Uh, the arrow we want to use um, arrow fill 30 degree instead for our text style. Just going to make this dialog box a little bit smaller. And then we want to change the width factor to be 0.85. So it's a little bit narrow and allow us to uh, give us a little bit more maneuver space when we do annotation. So I'm going to select OK. So this is my first text style. Note. Now I'm going to do the second text style uh, bow with 3.5 millimeter aerial setting. So I'm going to click on the text command again, and I'm going to go to the type selector and select the 3.5 millimeter area. And I'm going to hit the edit type button again, and then I'm going to rename this text style adding bow at the front in cap, and then dash space. And then I'm going to click on the leader arrowhead and change it to arrow fill 30 degree. And I'm going to toggle on the bow option in the text style. And also going to change the width factor to be 0.85. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to choose the double leader uh, extension option again. And just pick a couple points here. And this is going to be bow dash 3.5 millimeter area. Now I'm going to continue to do the last style, which is the title with 5.5 millimeter area. So I'm going to click on the text command again, and I'm going to select the 5 millimeter area, and I'm going to click on edit type, and I'm going to rename this and add the title at the front as a style name, dash and a space, 5 millimeter area. Change the leader arrowhead to match the other one. Arrow fill 30 degree. It's going to be 5 millimeter. The color is black. And I'm going to leave all these other options to be the same. And I'm going to leave the width factor to be 1 as well. So I'm just going to select OK. Again, I'm going to choose the double lead, two segment lead the line option here. And then just pick a couple point here like this. And this is going to be title. Now I've completed creating all the text style that I need. Now if I go back to the text command and look at the type selector, there's a number of uh, types, uh, well, text style that we will not be using. So to avoid any confusion and inconsistency, I'm going to purge out these other four text style from the template file. So I'm going to go to Manage and then select Purge and Use. And then from here, I'm going to check none first and then scroll down to look for the text uh, category and expanded it. And you can see that 
uh, all the text style that is put inside these uh, view is not available to be uh, purged because it's being used. So I'm just going to toggle on these other four text style which we will not be using. And we will need to probably keep the schedule default in case we need to do scheduling. And we're just going to keep this text style inside our project uh, template file for now. Then I'm going to select OK and purge out these unneeded text style. So this gives you overall uh, view of how to set up text style inside Revit project file. It is not that difficult. Now, before we finish, I just want to add one more label in this drafting view. So I'm going to hit the text command again. I want to use the text without any leader line. And I'm going to select the title as my style. I'm just going to pick a point here and then type in standard text style. And I'm going to highlight this string of text and then give it the underline treatment. So I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.